great grandmother. Um, I started collecting. What, so you said the lady in the time. picture is my great grandmother, Julia Driscoll. That's all you're going to get, okay? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be able to pour 1900 in uh, Sun River in the homestead up there. Julia was the mystery lady in our family until I finally found her grave in Butte and started to find on about her, but I don't think you're going to get it all in here. Right. There'd be too much talking. My great-grandfather was the first of the John Driscolls in, in a long chain. He was born in Bible that he was born in uh, Cahir Keem in the Kilcatherine district in, in Irene and Driscoll at a much earlier time probably in Central City, Colorado, or possibly even back carried to a fellow by the name of Mera, uh, somebody I haven't been able to track down just yet. In uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, uh, she was about in a seabird, or the seabird is, is uh, uh, probably an albatross, and uh, the Driscoll name, Driscoll name refers to a wild uh, rose thorn. And the uh, picture is Dan Driscoll, probably the man I'm named after, uh, who was the ne'er-do-well of the family. An awful lot of work in later years, but he was in real estate and had several jobs. So, uh, Mrs. Mary Sl Slaminski, who was married to a doctor before, and she uh, had a child. She had a child who uh, died in Butte by the name of Rose Murphy. I've never been able to track too much information on that. Of John Callahan Driscoll, the second in the line of John Driscolls. He was my grandfather, Flanagan, in Central City, Colorado, and then they moved up to Butte, and they stayed there for the rest of their lives. He was a stationary engineer in the mines and died on his way to work one day of a heart attack. His sisters were Honor and Ellen. Uh, this is a picture of Honor, the oldest in the family. is the one that uh, lived on the property up on the Sun River, and she died up there. Honor and Ellen. Uh, Driscoll. They were both married in Central City, Colorado, and moved up. Mara was the one, was the one who was her, lost her husband when they were down in Colorado, and she married a married Sam Larkin after her first husband uh, passed away down in Colorado. The first husband's name was Cavanaugh, and he was kind of a, a ne'er do well himself and died down. And Ellen, who was married to Tom Bryant, and went up to the Sun River. I think Tom Bryant must have died, who uh, uh, she remarried and she moved down to California and died in Redwood City, California. Callahan Driscoll, my grandfather, who is the one who uh, died of a heart attack on his way to, to work, was old when he died or approximately there and uh, the money that was in his pocket when he died was never found. My grandmother uh, lived her life out in Butte and uh, died in the home of uh, what he remembers as their favorite grandma. This is the way she always looked to me when I was a kid. But as a young woman down in Central City, this is about the time she got married to John Driscoll. Everybody's favorite cake was, and they got it baked for him on their birthdays. And she made the best saffron bread in the, in the world. Annie Driscoll and her first husband on the right, the other two are the ones I believe who stood up for him in their marriage. That's her first husband. Her first husband was a, a Kavanaugh, and he died not too many years away from Colorado, and she moved up to Montana. Two children. Two children. Annie and her second husband, Sam Larkin, who was uh, a guide up in the uh, in the Bob Marshall Wilderness for, for years, and he died up in uh, around the Sun River there. And Annie, so Larkin, uh, Annie, Annie's uh, only daughter by Sam, who stayed on and lived in the uh, never known about the family it is very important in uh, getting this worse in his family. Bob Thomas married uh, Annie's uh, daughter by Kavanaugh, and uh, they lived on in Butte until, and that's where they passed away. And Mud Thomas is the last one left, and he's getting pretty old. Thomas is the man pictured on the right in this photograph, and he is uh, one of the greatest storytellers I've ever known. And it's the same picture as the earlier one of Great Grandma Driscoll and Augusta. And at a very early date, probably up at the Columbia Gardens. As uh, the second. Uh, or the third daughter in the family. Uh, there were three daughters and, and 
two sons. Ethel Larkin and Fritz Kane taken up at Sun River. They used to go up there for outings every once in a while. Larkin and Fritz Kane taken not too many. Uh, Fritz Kane who always dressed in the riding clothes when she went up there because they did a lot of riding up on the ranch. Uh, is of uh, Ethel Larkin and Fritz Kane just taken a few years before the two of them died. Uh, Jewel Kane or Jewel Layden and uh, Mary Driscoll. Uh, when they were the two in front were Kane in the front. Jewel, excuse me, I've got to do that over. That's not Jewel Kane, it's Jewel. Fritz, actually, it's and Jewel and Mary Driscoll when Fritz and Jewel were off to college. Riding outfit, and uh, they drove up there in these old cars, which were probably new cars at that time. Was uh, always ready to go riding when she went up there because there were plenty of horses available. Yeah, on the Sun River. Flanagan's John and Mary Flanagan. I was the happiest guy in the world when I got a hold of this because I'd never had any idea what they looked. And uh, they both died in Butte, but they're buried, or he died down in uh, Central City, Colorado. Uh, lived out their lives in, in Butte. They were both buried down in Central City, Colorado, and I couldn't find them. Uh, go ahead and start. in the old country and someplace in Ireland. I've never been able to track where he came from, but Mary was born in this country. Ellen uh, McConnell. McConnell. And um, they had three children, Frank Flatron and Mary. And Mary's the one who died in Central City, Colorado. And she's buried down there with her parents. And again, Grandma Driscoll's brother, who died in Butte, uh, uh, was widowed, or he wasn't wid widowed, he was never married, and uh, he was an engineer in the mines too, and did quite a bit of stock buying. Kate Driscoll and the lady who stood up for her in her wedding, Maggie Leahy. This picture was taken in Central. The lady on the left is Grandma Driscoll, Kate, Kate uh, Flanagan Driscoll, and the late Flanagan, taken in Central City, Colorado. Uh, as I said, he never got married. He worked in the mines, but he was uh, dealing in stocks quite a bit and he made himself a uh, size taken in the old days. It's the only picture I was able to get my hands on that showed what it looked like before they changed the time. John and Julia Driscoll's grave at St. Patrick's Cemetery in Butte. It took me a long time to find Ann Driscoll's uh, grave too. We never could find out for sure where he was buried. Picture is uh, Mrs. Gallagher, who was the mother of the woman who was uh, scheduled to marry my dad. Not a very good one. It was obviously cut off of a bigger picture. This is Layden, uh, Ed Layden's mother. Um, Ed Layden was married to Jewel Driscoll. Kane, probably after she had had a few of her children. All of these. They taken on Grandma Driscoll uh, front porch. And it's a very poor quality, but the only one, Grandma Driscoll on the left, uh, Butter Driscoll next to, uh, to the left of her, and uh, in the back, and the boy with the hat are of uh, the Brennan family. And the Just a in front of Butter is Ethel Lark, and the girl next to her is a, a Brennan, the a sister of the boy with the hat. Our Fritz Kane, uh, or Fritz Driscoll at that time, Mary Driscoll, and Jewel Driscoll. On the right is Frank Flanagan. This picture was taken very early uh, when they were Driscoll's up at the Columbia Gardens. Uh, you can tell by the skinny trees up there that it was a long time ago. To our uh, Bill Driscoll, Butter Driscoll, and a uh, friend, one of the, I think, the Brennan boy. Uh, Driscoll, who became Fritz Kane. Mary Driscoll, the lady is Grandma Driscoll, and the one on the right is Jewel Driscoll. Uh, Fritz Kane on the right, and uh, Big Fitzpatrick's mother, B Big Fitzpatrick married Mary Lou Kane. Driscoll. Uh, Bill looks much taller than Butter there, but I think it's because Butter's standing a little to the to the background. House probably when in the early 1920s. That we all remember because it's where we all went on our birthdays and on any special occasion. West uh, uh, West Broadway, the 700 block on West Broadway, 745. Riding outfit, standing in probably in the at the end of the Sun River. Up by in, in the, on the left, Bill Driscoll in front of him and the Brennan boy uh, in the cap.
here I'm guessing that Butter was about uh, 13 and Bill was about 11. Uh, taking on knickerbockers, which uh, when you got out of those, you became a man. That's what you wore when you were a kid. Wore a hat. All the men in Butte and boys wore hats, and usually it was these caps because they got tossed around when I'm standing on her front porch. I see the address of 717 West Broadway. I don't remember her like this. She's probably in her 40s. wiping the tears out of her eyes because dad said something funny dad's next and Fritz came to the right that Brent, the ones that uh, had the most fun uncle Bill was always in trouble and I, I suspect he was in about uh, the early 1920s when they lived down on South Main Street that's where they always lived she died down Driscoll who married Ed Layden they lived down on South Main Street and their house has been torn down now this is the way a lot of people remember him, either this way or uh, making trouble. It was Uncle Bill Driscoll, who was probably living out one of his dreams at the time. He was a real troublemaker. <laughs> uh, as a child, as, uh, he was the second of, of two boys, Butter and, and Bill. And he's the one that had the drugs. Driscoll, when he was on crutches, and uh, probably before he got married, which would have been in the early 1920s. Uh, the lady who I, I believe was my dad's girlfriend before my mom came along and took her, took him away from 